they're likely going to have a fresh sheet of ice to start things off on Sunday as we have the potential of going from heavy rain to an ice storm for parts of the GTA. So not essential travel tomorrow night, especially from Toronto and areas to the north. It'd be advised to cancel it. We have this very moisture laden storm system moving up from the south. This one likely going to produce anywhere from 40 to 60 millimeters of precipitation. Heavier rain expected to move in by 3 a.m. It will continue through the morning hours and then we'll start to bring in that ice potential across the morning for areas to the north. And we're talking Grey Bruce, our Dundalk, Dundalk Highlands, in through the Niagara Escarpment and the Oak Ridges Moraine could see upwards of 10 to 12 hours of freezing rain. So rainfall warning is in place. And then on top of that, we have freezing rain warnings that have now been expanded into the north end of the GTA. So this is just coming out here at this point. So areas in northern York, northern Durham region, Caledon, uh, in through parts of Kitchener, Waterloo, now underneath a freezing rain warning, as well as areas in through the Kawartha Lakes region. So those are the spots now at this point that need to be on guard. And it pretty much lines up with what we have drawn here. The heaviest ice potential is going to be areas up in toward the Dundalk Highlands, in through Grey Bruce, and then extending along the Niagara Escarpment. We still have the potential of seeing freezing rain here in the city of Toronto. It's just not going to be as prolonged of an event and lead to damage, but it will be something that could impact travel and make things very slick. So heaviest rain expected as we go overnight into the morning tomorrow. Winds gusting 60 to 90 kilometers per hour. So if you can cancel that non-essential travel, again, probably the best thing to do for areas north of Toronto. We'll see temperatures near zero on Sunday with the precipitation wrapping up into the morning. By Monday, Tuesday, and into Wednesday, we're going to find drier conditions, another chance for some snow. But it's going to be a high-impact weekend around here. Stay tuned to 680 News for updates throughout the day tomorrow.